What's going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammett, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. Short edition, y'all. Five minutes left. Stick around to the end. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how speed is the weapon of a narcissist or a toxic person. How narcissists like to move fast, so you, you're you just blindingly fast. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. <laughs> I know that one. So yes, that is hilarious, but that is absolutely true when you're dealing with narcissists and toxic people. They will try to love bomb you and future fake you early on in the relationship. Well, they'll say things like that on the first date or the second date and things like that. Oh, you're my soulmate. I never felt uh, the way I feel about you. I've never felt this way about anybody else. Really, really quickly. Speed is the weapon of a narcissist or a toxic person, y'all. So that's why I tell people to slow down and set boundaries. So people are gonna say like, what's the boundary look like, Lee? If somebody says that you're their soulmate early on, just like, oh, I don't I don't see that yet. And watch their response. Because typically if a narcissist doesn't get the response they're looking for, they'll feel rejected and come back at you. They will either become angry a lot of times or they'll try to rush you into feeling the same way that they feel about you. They will overwhelm you with love and affection in the beginning. Good morning, beautiful. Good night, beautiful. Hope you have a fantastic day. All that, that type of stuff. Don't give them the reaction they're looking for and watch what happens. So, welcome back, beautiful people. So, that creator's name, I think his name is Michael. Uh, he goes by My Narcissistic X. Uh, he has some good content on TikTok, and a little bit on Instagram here and there, too, here and there as well. So, speed is the weapon of a narcissist. You, you see the title? It said, when it's your first time hanging out and they start telling you that you're their soulmate. Yeah, y'all the soulmate. I never felt this way about anyone. I know, I know we've been knowing each other for like 18 minutes, but I think I love you. I, I've never felt this way about anyone else before. Like, it's kind of crazy. But you've been married and you have like four kids. So you never felt any, any this way about anybody else? Four kids by four different women, you know, four different men, whatever. Yeah. You never felt this way about anybody else? Oh, ever, ever. You, you the one for me. They get you. They like to move fast and make you feel special up front because when you feel special up front, they feel like they can lock you down and, hand, and, and they, they can lock you down and, you know, suck you up because they'll do that stuff. They'll do that type of stuff to you. They just absolutely will because narcissists and toxic people, like, they like to move fast because if you the faster you're moving, the more likely you are to miss red flags. The faster you're moving, the more likely you are to just fall for, into their trap and fall for the love bombing and understand that this is love bombing and not real love. This is not sustainable. You know I mean? The faster you're moving, the longer, like, you're going to be hitting relationship mile markers way too fast. Y'all going to be living with each other, engaged, married with kids, and, like, with kids on the way in two, three months, which is absolutely crazy if you look at it. And people will tell you, too. And like I said, People will tell you, like, you y'all moving kind of fast. Y'all already living together. Y'all, how y'all sign a lease? And y'all y'all only know just last night. You didn't you didn't find out their last name until you saw it on the lease. You know what I mean? And their last name was like, you know, just something weird. So it, it, slow down, y'all. Slow down. Slowing down, setting boundaries, and telling people no will it, it just helps save you so much time, effort, and energy. Because you understand that why narcissists like to move fast. Because narcissists like to move fast because the slower you move, the harder, the heavier that mask gets, the gets you know, the heavier that mask becomes. We can't hold it up. The, you know, the harder it is to keep that act up. It takes at least 90 days to get to know someone on average. I've seen studies before that said that 90 days to get to know someone. You shouldn't be living with somebody you've you only been knowing for 10 days. God, seriously, six, six weeks is not enough time. Six weeks is only 42 days. You mean, so six weeks doesn't seem like enough time. 12 weeks, it's 84 days. You say, it's still, even 12 weeks, three months, you still don't know somebody. Take your time. 90 days on average to get to know someone because you don't know people. Y'all be moving so fast, and then when you start to find out who these people really are, it's too late. You got a baby. You, got, you done bought a house together. You done moved in together. You done signed a three-year-long lease if those exist. You know what I mean? Slow down. You got each other tied to each other. Once they narcissist feels like they have you trapped or they get you to fall for them, they got you. And they, it's hard as hell to let them go. Narciss, a lot of narcissists are like ticks. You gotta twist them out. You can't just pull them out. You gotta twist them out. You leave that, you leave that teeth in you. They still be sucking in you. <laughs> they get you. You know what I mean? Anyways, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. I really, truly appreciate every single one of y'all because as much as y'all say y'all learn from me, I promise you, promise you, promise you, I learn even more from you. Thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Thank you.